In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone, I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again. And today we have a beautiful, you know, uh, the Word of God, uh, which uh, now we can listen or please check uh, your Bible too. Uh, John's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 1 to 11. Uh, this chapter 17 is very important, very powerful, and very beautiful. You know why? It, it, uh, we can say as a title of uh, this, uh, you know, chapter 17, the prayer of uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ uh, prays himself as well as he pray for his uh, uh, lovely uh, disciples, apostles, uh, which is uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit uh, have uh, chosen them. So how gracious, even though uh, they've been chosen, but they were so problematic or difficult uh, disciples. Uh, for this reason, probably Jesus wanted to continually uh, keep or pray for them, for their, uh, you know, the uh, mission and uh, evangelism uh, for the, the this world. So today, actually, we know who is Jesus Christ, who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thanks God for giving us and uh, these beautiful you know, apostles and uh, uh, disciples. And also he pray for those who believe in the name of Jesus Christ. So this chapter 17, uh, we can say the prayer of a Jesus Christ chapter. So how gracious. I would like to uh, stress the, just the one thing, uh, how gracious, how important for me, I hope, and uh, for you too. Because many times we say, what is uh, uh, the the eternal life. After this life, what happened? Uh, many times we know uh, the, those who uh, passed away just, you know, the finished to uh, cemetery or uh, crematorium. This is uh, actually uh, our our life, you know, daily, you know, the practice for you know, those who uh, died. But but as a Christian, once we know very well who is Jesus Christ, who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, our goal, especially the life, is not to go cemetery or the crematorium, but having or enter in the kingdom of our God. So, uh, chapter 17, verse 3. This is a very important Jesus word, as well as uh, the powerful message. And uh, probably you and I, we wanted to know uh, about the eternal life. What is it, actually? Jesus Christ explained it. So we have a look together. Now, this is uh, eternal life. That they should know you who? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But at the moment, especially God the Father, the only true God, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, who is it? Jesus Christ. Wow! This is amazing. I know many people, you know, the knows Jesus Christ, but think about Jesus as a Holy man, as a uh, one of a uh, uh, famous, you know, important uh, uh, prophet, but we are Christian. We believe him. It's so different. We cannot compare this, you know, the uh, uh, thinking of uh, uh, some of people. But we believe Jesus Christ is uh, the Son of God, the Messiah. The Lord, the you know the uh, who came to us to reveal us, who is God the Father, as well as God the Son and 
got the Holy Spirit. So verse 4, this is very interesting too. Jesus said, I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work. So Jesus Christ came here in this world for what? For giving us who is God the Father and also your life, a human's life is not finished, just a, a symmetry or crematorium rather than kingdom of a heaven. So, how gracious. Jesus said again, I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. So, Jesus Christ showed us the kingdom of heaven is here in this world and too. When? When we love one another. We serve one another. We share one another God's mercy, God's love, and God's forgiveness too. So that is very important why Jesus prayed for himself, prayed for his disciples, prayed for all those who believe in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, this is good news. We know Jesus Christ. We know who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So, the eternal life is here. Already, we will go or and stay in the kingdom of heaven. I hope you and I, we have no more uh, afraid or frightened about the death, but rather than uh, the love of Jesus Christ is always is here and spread everywhere with the Holy Spirit, especially His power, His uh, you know, beautiful fire, which we know very well, love, joy, and patience, peace, and many other things anyway. With this blessing, may we have a wonderful and beautiful and a holy time and day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.